Thank you for joining us here at the USU Career Studio for Career Tip Tuesday. I'm John Folger, your host. And this month, we are going to be talking about different career tips to help you get real world experience with an internship. Today's Tuesday tip is going to be all about the different types of internships that are out there. As well, we're going to talk about other opportunities that are not technically internships, but can still be helpful to your career pathway. When it comes to internships, they come in a couple of categories, paid and unpaid. While paid internships may sound like the more desirable option, after all, who doesn't like getting paid, they may not be the best fit for what you want. At some paid internships, you can become somewhat locked into that company. This makes sense as they are spending money on you, so they'll want to keep you and do everything they can to keep you. While this may sound ideal, it can cause some issues if the internship reveals that that particular career field is no longer what you want. Remember that internships are meant to be a trial opportunity for you and for the employer. So getting locked into a situation can defeat the internship purpose. I am not saying all paid internships are bad. Again, money is very nice and a very real incentive. I am simply saying don't make it paid or bust. When it comes to unpaid internships, there are a few possibilities that will make up for that lack of monetary compensation. One option is getting educational credit. At USU, there are classes that you can take that will give you college credits towards graduation for completing an internship, thus saving you money on tuition later on. This does not mean that if you are doing an unpaid internship that you have to get this college credit. It's just an option. Another benefit of some unpaid internships is that they can offer to help you get certificates or certifications. As well with unpaid internships, it lends to still getting the experiences and views without the worry of structured pay. Again, internships are meant to be a trial run for a career field. In order to get the benefits of a situation, Situation, it also does not have to be called an internship. As long as you are gaining views and experiences that will help you make future decisions, that is what is important. For example, studying abroad or volunteer service, whether that's AmeriCorps, Peace Corps, or any volunteer experience, these will give you critical information about what paths you need to take later on in life. Whether paid, unpaid, for credit, or a volunteer experience, the most important thing to remember is to do the things that will inform your path forward. Thanks for joining us here at the USU Career Studio. Please join us next Tuesday for a new career tip.